So this is just the notice that you won't kill me afterwards. And it's basically because of the next slide, which should be now. And that is the thing. I have never understood what it means that DevOps is a culture. A culture for me is people sitting, sitting around a bonfire drinking beer or going to a museum. It's not about DevOps, and it's certainly not a tool or job description. So let's go back to the basics. Let's explore what it is. Remember, we have developers, and that what they're doing, they're taking requirements, and they're building software. And they're experts, and they're very responsible people, very smart people. They know what they're doing. And their responsibilities, are, they are defined by their managers, are to write software, model stuff, solve complex problems. Those really smart people doing a lot of stuff, and normally they're responsible up to the point that it is actually works on their machine. And that's not a trivial thing by itself. Operations are the people who are responsible to make sure the product keeps on running. It is the should start running and continue running. And they are also really expert people. They have a lot of things to learn and to know. And they have to manage all kinds of risks that prevent the products from continuing to run. All kinds of malfunctions, attacks by malicious people, changes that are introduced that reduce risk, and have to mitigate all those problems to make sure things are continuing to run. Remember, this is NASA mission control. Those are really smart people. This is operations. Those are the operations people. So if this is the case, what does it really mean? And that's what my understanding of the problem is. Operations are measured by the stability of the product, of our system. Stability means minimize risk. Minimize risk means that we need to, that the risk is caused by malfunctions, attack, change, change caused by developers. It means that the role of operations is to prevent developers from doing a change. <laughs> they are measured on it. Now, this is the DevOps world that we always look about. We want change, we want stability. No, no one wants change, no one wants stability. That's not the real picture. The real picture is that their job is to do a change, and their job is to, do, to have a stable environment. And their job, the, by definition, both teams cannot succeed. One team has to make sure the other fails. <laughs> so we should change the responsibility. We should split the requirements from the people from our team in a different way. And that is what is DevOps for me. What does it mean to change responsibility? It means that we change the developer's job description. Developers should take charge of the risk introduced by changes. Developers should, um, should take charge of the stability impact of their changes. They should own the change. They should own all the aspects of the change and what it might be doing to their system, which means quite a bit for the developer. It means that the developer that up until now just cared to have things working on his machine, now has to care about pre-deployment guards. We call them tests. It has to care about predictable deployment, because it doesn't need to run just on his machine. And post-deployment guards, monitoring, alerting, and developers will go and build those things, because they have to, because it's their responsibility to mitigate the risk introduced by their changes. And it means for operations that operations shouldn't give a fuck about the risk from a change. They should focus on the malfunctions and on the system topology and on attacks and on the real problems and just help developers with mitigating the risks due to change. It is a change in an organizational structure. It changes the developers to be the owners of a change and the operations to be enablers that help them do that. That's the thing about DevOps. It's not a culture. It's a change of responsibility and organizational structure. That's the thing about it. And that makes me think about another, another small thing, small idea. Is it valid only for developers and operations? Or is it actually the same way with all functions in your organization? By taking people that are experts in a field and saying you are responsible for that field, you're actually blocking development and progress. And what we're doing here is actually taking operations that are expert at stability and making them not responsible for stability. Instead, making the developers responsible for the stability. So I'm going to leave you with that question and hopefully 
we learn something from it.